Text preprocessing is an essential step in any text mining pipeline, as it determines what kind of data our machine learning and data explanation algorithms receive. Generally, it comprises several steps. So let's look at some of the most important ones. We'll use BBC3 from the Datasets widget as an example dataset. It contains several articles from the BBC News. Now, again, we'll use the Corpus widget to indicate that our data comprises both a title and some content. So let's inspect our data in a word cloud to get a general feel for the corpus and its content. It could be more informative. Unsurprisingly, the most frequent elements of the English language include the, to, in, and of, as well as some punctuation. So we need to clean this a bit, and we can do so in the text process widget. I'll quickly insert it between the corpus widget and our word cloud. Now, first, we lowercase the text, then we tokenize it. That means we break it into the core units of analysis, typically words. Then finally, we can remove some of the stop words. Stop words are words without semantic meaning, like the and in and so on. In the preview on the left, we can see a sample of the widget's output and we can look at the actual results in the word cloud widget. Okay, great. We see that words such as said and year and us are the most frequent words in our corpus. But let's look at the widget again. In the list on the left, we have both year and years. Now, the meaning is the same. The distinction is only the grammatical number, but it might make more sense to transform such words into a standard form and the transformation of words into their base form is called normalization. For example, working should become work, oranges becomes orange, and bigger becomes big. We'll use the UD pipe lemmatizer, a fast normalization option for English. So we just drag and drop the option between tokenization and filtering. Now here, the order really is important. Okay, great. Years and year are now a single year. Said has become say, and so on. We can also select a word in the word cloud and inspect all the documents containing this word. For example, win. Now, observe the documents in the Corpus Viewer widget. Here are the 532 news articles that mention winning. Let's find each of its appearances. I can enter the regular expression backslash b win backslash b into the filter box, which will locate the exact occurrences of the word win, as backslash b denotes a non-word character. And it looks like winning doesn't appear only in the sports category. This concludes our pre-processing. Now, if our data is big, we might want to perform some additional filtering. And if we wanted to distinguish between nouns and verbs, we could apply some POS tagging, which adds part of speech labels to the data. Now, determining the best steps for your analysis can take a lot of time, and it will probably heavily depend on your exact field. But the more you practice, the easier it will be to decide which steps yield the best results.